Oh, man. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're going to do the three gauges. Stamina, Tension, and Burst. Uh, I want to talk about them. Like, they're all... So, like, I was thinking about, like, I can't do these really separately because I feel like at a certain point, Sin uses all of these gauges together to, like, really kind of, like, like really emphasize how strong this character is aggressively. Or and defensively, really. So, let's... I'm going to do Stamina real quick and then Tension and then we'll go into Burst. Um, but there's going to be some overlap because, like, if you look at, like, how Sin works, he just kind of uses all of them at the, like, at the same time, right? Like, Stamina and Tension are more or less just glued together, right? So, quick example. Um, right. Um, so, like, right now, I don't, I can't do my follow-up, right, because I don't have left Stamina. But once I get the bar, now I can use that Stamina and I, get, I can do Supers, right? And so, that's always, this is going to be the biggest factor to consider, right, is, is it worth going for... Um, one block of stamina or not, right? Or, like, to get rid of that one block. However, this is where tension comes in, right? So let's say I don't have stamina, right? I, I blow it all. Like, I don't I don't, I don't, don't need this stamina. I don't, I don't, I don't need it, right? Um, in this scenario, this is where you can still use Roman Cancel or Tension, right? To actually... Add, you can just use the, the red Roman Cancel to maintain pressure, right? It's not because your stamina's out. Now you just, you just have to alternate what you use. And so, so stamina could go into tension, right? And it can also go the other way, right? You could use tension to kind of, uh, like, it's hard to kind of demonstrate this. Uh, but you could kind of do stuff like this, right? To use, like, to add delays into your hits to let your stamina start building, right? And so, like, they kind of work left and right. <laughs> and I don't know why I see it as, like, left and right, but yeah. You can use, well, basically, you can use one or the other to replenish the other. Uh, and so that's what's really good. So just think, they, they think about like your battle plan after you run out of one or the other. And of course, stamina can be used to build meter, right? So uh, a good example, right? If you if you really want to sit on meter and you want to just get really aggressive with the opponent, the new 6k change, well, not really 6k, not 6k, yeah, but the, um, the elk hunt change and, and stuff kind of really make open up uh, the possibility of just really uh, being aggressive with elk hunt follow-up. And this is a great way to build meter. So you're all guard. So like let's say you're just oh yeah, that's another thing that was into the gauge. Da, 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 da. So um so we're looking at it. Oh no, we're at a gauge. Oh gosh, darn it. Fiddlesticks. What's it doing? Why is it not oh no, I didn't put it on a guard switch. Yeah. Um and so So this is where you can do stuff like that. You gotta just sneak in your hits, and then just go into that. Right, and now you have meter. So now you can do something like this, 6k. And now you have stamina. You see how that kind of works? And so, because of that, it, once you kind of understand that, you can always use one or the other resource to kind of facilitate the other. Your opponent's gonna be like, well, when do I get to deal with his, like, with that amount of stamina? And the answer is, they don't. Like, if you place in properly, you're never running out of stamina unless you choose to do so. That's why I say it's imperative to make sure that you try to hold on to that one block as much as you can. And then if you do make that decision, you're doing it because you need to, it's gonna win the game, basically. That's how I would emphasize it. Um,. And so I, I didn't. Also, I, I should mention this too before I forget, right? So, did I say this already? I'm probably saying this twice. I've, I've recorded this video like a thousand times, and I'm only looking at my notes. But so how stamina builds, right? Um, it builds either over time, right? So I have to wait a little bit after it cancels, and then I'll slowly build, right? Um, but also, if you hit the opponent, right, put them in hit stop, it doesn't build. Uh, so there are going to be scenarios. So. What you can do to prevent this whole hit stop dilemma is actually start adding holes into or like stop doing your combos as fast as possible or do your strings as fast as possible. So you just kind of have like lengthier holes in your strings. Of course, there's like, like they're going to try to do something, but whatever. <laughs> like you're trying to replenish your resource and you're kind of doing it while still maintaining pressure. So like, what do I mean? Like they're probably going to mash backdash. So that's what most players do. They just mash backdash where they hold up. So, of course, you just kind of make those just delayed enough that it kind of checks both of them. Uh, and because you have 2S as one of your sequences, and 5H, like, these all cover backdashes now. So, like, you have all of these ways to still still keep pressure and still have, like, leaving holes in your block strings is still very viable to make sure that your tension meter, or not your tension meter, but your stamina meter can build. Uh, another thing, right? Uh, so something I've been doing a lot more now, actually, is backing off, 
Because, like, let's say I, I just maul the guy. I'm mauling, I'm mauling, I'm mauling. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, you know what? I don't trust his, I don't trust his get-up option. He, he has a bunch of meter. I, and I, you know, I'm sitting back here. Um, I'll sit here, and I realize a lot of players are really afraid of Sin getting stamina now. <laughs> like, like, this is not a thing before, but once he has stamina, like, just this is so strong for your opponent to deal with, right? Like, because, like, if you, if you if you ever have the opportunity, right? Like, especially when they're low on life, they don't want to have to deal with this. They really do not want to have to deal with that. And so, you could just sit there and be like, you can use your, your building of stamina as a way to make your opponent have to approach you. Uh, and... That's just really, really strong. Just for having them have to like run at you is kind of like a really big advantage in this game, right? Because a lot of characters don't have that advantage. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I, I, I don't, I didn't really. I mentioned how you want to keep one block, right? But yeah, you want to keep one block of stamina, right? Well, why? Because DP. This is probably the biggest one for me. Uh, DP goes into uh, Tyrant Barrel in the corner so like as long as you have so you have 50 meter so for one you can rc this right um but i mean this is i mean this is tied to tension as well but like you know you you want that one block because this the reward of this dp and the super plus the rc on block is so strong it's so strong that your opponent like will just be so miserable because don't forget now while you're doing this or and you're, and you're, you're doing all you're doing this rc stuff what you're really doing is you're training in meter for stamina, right? And so when they get out of, like, once they're done blocking the Roman cancel, you're just like, well, cool, I have stamina, and now I'm going to just Elkine, 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 Elkine follow up you all day, right? And that's where it is, like, and so when people, like, I think it's just like, I don't know, I'm just kind of, I want to gush, but I, I'll stop, I'll stop myself there. Um, okay, so... I guess we'll do a little bit about tension, right? Because it's hard, because like stamina and tension are kind of glued together. But for Hughes, for tension Hughes, uh, pretty much remember, right? Uh, for mid-screen conversions, right? Tyrant or tyrant, not tyrant. RTL is your go-to. Uh, in most cases, right? Especially if you do like a combo, right? You're not gonna get tyrant barrel from here. Um, so you want to just do RTL. Something I also want to mention too is that you can always do a combo now. Uh, it's it's so I don't I, I don't really I'm gonna bring it up, but because I still haven't really figured out what's optimal for his combos because he has so many more options for the wild assault and stuff that I still don't want to make a video about combos yet until I feel really comfortable. So but so we can always do this right. So if you do the follow up, as you can see, I have like a bar meter, but. Right, you always get a you always get a combo from this, right? And this is this will pretty much always get you to the corner. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. I don't know. <laughs> it blends. But yeah. Um and so you can always just do that. This is pretty good because this gets you a lot of corner carry and it, it assuming if you're like like over here maybe, it might be better to do this kind of combo because well, you're not, um, right, you're, like, right on top of them, and then you, you haven't done any wall damage, so that means, like, once you get to the wall, you can actually do, like, an actual, like, wall combo, right, so, like, example would be, like, I don't know, this, right, this is probably gonna stick right here, no! <laughs> this is what he does. I don't know, something, I mean, well, because, like, yeah, you, you did the, all of your damage mid-screen, the wall is not completely destroyed. So you don't have to worry about those situations where you like you like jab them three times and they just stick on the wall, right? I'm gonna die. I don't know why the wall hasn't stuck yet, so I'm like I'm not gonna question it. And so there, there's some wiggle room there, right? That's why like I haven't really done combos and stuff, and that's why Oki's been really hard because I can't tell you exactly. I I can tell you the Oki I run currently, but I don't know if it's the best Oki. That's why I haven't gone to that Oki video yet. Uh, okay, so another use, right? So yeah, you can do Roman cancels for getting them to the corner. You can do, all oh, right, yeah, RTL anywhere. And then of course in the corner you want to do Tyrant barrels. Just just do Tyrant barrel does a trillion damage. You've all seen the, the videos, but they're all over Twitter. They, they it kills people, right? And so another thing I want to bring up too is um uh but if you want to replenish your resources, I I think I'm the only sin player that does this, and I love doing it to players. Is like rather than doing this right like all the time. I'll do something like this. Boy, boy, boy. Boy. 
Uh, I mean, I had to use Wild Assault for the example, but yeah, like if you have any amount of wall decay, you can just slump them, right? And so this is really good. So like, let, like I think a good example would be something like this. You do this, right? And then now they're in the corner. And now, now you're just building stamina, right? You're getting, you get a free block of stamina and you get mix. Um, and this kind of leads into like the next part where I think Wild Assault's really, really nice. So, so you can use Roman Cancel, right? To get that, that, uh, slump too. Uh, but what Wild Assault does for Sin, right? This is like, I'm going to kind of, this is going to be like kind of backtracking a little bit, but while, so what Sin does, right? So like Sin has like the generic Wild Assault, that, that, well, the red one, right? Orange, whatever the color you want to call it. But what makes Sin's Wild Assault good? Uh, is that you could go, you just do a ping and a hard slash, and then you just run your mix up, right? You can just run the mix up right away, or or you can just do it right away from the, that hit. Um, and the other thing is, you know how there's always that gap where people try to mash throw between hard slash and the low? If you do wild assault into uh, overhead or wild assault into 2H, you don't have to worry about that gap anymore because while the 2H is a block string, like they'll just get hit, and then while you know, and then they can't throw the overhead because well. It's not throwable. <laughs> and so, what I like to do, I've been trying to do this more. So, like, you would just kind of sit here at neutral and be like, surprise! And then do something like that, right? And then you get, you know, like, it's it's something I've been trying to play with. Uh, it's pretty costly, though, right? Because you are risking half of your burst gauge um, at neutral. But, I mean, you'll, you'll find situations, right? Especially if you could do something like this, right? This basically effectively gives you, a, like, a mix up from over here. <laughs> like, you're just like, oh, shoot, mix up, right? Um, and I also do this one a lot too, just for example, you know, 2p, 2p throw or something like that. It, that's, it's all there. It's all there. It's really, really strong. And so, uh, I'm, I'm not going to show you how to convert it, uh, but if you want, I guess I will. So if you want to do like a wild assault, I think the standard route right now is just do 6k into, uh, into wild assault and then just press buttons. <laughs> and that's kind of what the go-to route is. Um, on counter hit, I'll just show you the, the silly combo. Because uh, I, I think it, there's, it's pretty viable. Um, <laughs> uh, actually, you can make it look cooler. I think it's actually... Alright, it's not me. What is it? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> if you, if you want to look fancy, you can do that. <laughs> that exists. Um, but, so yeah, that only works on counter hit. Like, on a fully charged Wild Assault, right? Um, oh yeah, on a fully charged Wild Assault, uh, I'll cut has no hole. It's actually enough blocks from that they can't do anything about this. So, see, wait, hold on, let me make sure. Uh, on a block, you're gonna mash throw, right? Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's even even on full charge. Never mind. Yeah, don't don't do that to me. Yeah. Um, another good example, though, after like a super wall break, I've been doing it a lot too. Actually, is doing just going straight into wild assault. So like, what's kind of really pretty common, right? After you break the wall, they're gonna have a burst to use on you, right, to escape your pressure. And so what I like to do is actually do like a. Oh shoot! Let me turn it off. Um, I'll do something like this, right? I'll hit them with a super, uh, and then I just charge wild assault on them. And so, assuming they block that or whatever, I can just run the mix up, or and, you know I can do whatever I want, and they don't, they can't burst it. And so you could use that small moment of time, right, um, to just get the overhead in the super. And because the the good thing about how Sin works, right, like the wild assault is like it takes away their burst, right, for like that that amount of, or that amount of like gauge. And so Sin's mix up is just like. It's like barely anything, and so it. So even even if you just do the normal one, like even if you do the normal one, all you need is this, right? And they still don't even have their burst yet, right? And so like using wild assault and just going into mix up is just it's it's like I think I think it like it just instills a lot of fear in the opponent because like a lot of times they go oh at least I'll have my burst to escape it and it's like no you don't you don't even have that option so you're just like wow shoot what do I do? And, you, and then at that point, you just smile and laugh at them, right? Uh, and so, yeah, like, if you don't know what to do, right? Like, let's say if you're over here, you just, just do Wild Assault, Wild Assault, oh shoot, I'm engaged. You know, just do this and mix up, just do it, just do it, right? Do one of this, and maybe jab and a throw, um, 2H maybe. Um, 
Uh, I I do like two H, but I guess there's there is mention that it's probably worth also doing the other one, this one, because it leaves you at frame advantage, right? If you do two uh, H, uh, you're gonna you're gonna basically have to do the follow up, and you're kind of kind of use have to waste stamina. Uh, the advantage though of doing two H is that you still have a you still have you know like the, the old mix up, right? You can still go for this and pray they don't mash you, you know. Anyways, do well, right? And so. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I know like I hope this is still useful to everyone. Oh, well, let me see. Let me check my notes. There's a six k overhead, six k two free throw. Uh, yeah, I wanted to mention right. Yeah, so like yeah, for I, I think I said this already, but uh, the the secret to using this one is like either you're doing it in block streams like this right for the mix, but the other way you can just just be really like sneaky with it. Just be really sneaky with a. Uh, the wall assault and then just run a mix up and it's it's so sudden like by the time your opponent already sees what's happening it's like already too late you, re you already did your mix up and you're already either you already hit the opponent or you got hit <laughs> like that's how i see it typically right like, i don't think i've ever seen a person ever just block the, the mix like it, whatever mix i'd go for it usually just works <laughs> um but of course it really just comes down to like how surprised they are right like you got to get them um you know with a surprise debuff you know like that's what you got to do and then it'll, it'll be work um uh, Alright, so I'm going to kind of go over the, everything together real quick. So, um, stamina, right? Just remember that it doesn't build during a uh, hit stop. Right? Or, or super break, right? If you break the suit, if, you, if they're flying through a screen for whatever reason, you're not building stamina. Um, don't be afraid to just let it let it build, man. Just It's fine. You don't always have to kill them, but if the, and the, and the factor that you don't have stamina, don't forget, as long as you have meter, you can... Always use meter to keep it going, right? Just keep it going. But then remember, when you do your block swings, you kind of want to have like lengthier holes so that the hit stop isn't as like like there's more gaps between the hit stops so that you can start building more stamina. Um, and if you really are low on stamina and you want to, uh, or not if you're low on stamina, <laughs> uh, if you're uh, oh, the other way, I, I, I missed one. So if you're low on stamina or uh, low on tension, just start using uh, a lot of elk hunts to uh build you the meter right this is actually really strong after positive like you're just gonna get a trillion meter uh, and so like you just kind of just become a super bully in the corner uh for mid screen routes remember always go into rtl uh or you can do the roman cancel combo right I, like i said i don't I, I don't feel safe telling you which one to do i don't think there's any right or wrong answer right now uh in the corner tyrant barrel uh and then the other one don't forget you can slump them slumping them is pretty strong Right, and then yeah. Oh so, yeah, I don't really talk about like post slump, like what I like to do. When you slump the opponent, um, it's all manually timed. There's no, there's no that. There's nothing like safe to do. Uh, but when when I, if you want to practice this, I recommend you do just set the the wall break to instant, because like typically it's gonna be this move that does the slumping anyways, right? And then um, you just kind of just figure out what you want to do, right? Uh, currently, I'm working on this, uh, and then of course you can always just do that into that, like empty low. Uh, but realistically, what I like to do is just do this. I just walk forward and then <laughs> just right out of throw range. Uh, and then once they do like that, I see that sound, like that slump sound. I just run my mix, right? Just like I just wait. It's like a little bit after that. You just wait, right, like that. Um, and that, that's just what I do. I think it looks really menacing. I think no player wants to just deal with, like, a complete meaty, like, high-low game with the factor that you just, like, walk forward like a scooch and you just throw them, right? A scoshy. A, a very scoshy. Uh, oh, right. I, I forgot to mention this about uh, Wild Assault. Or for his, uh... He actually has a really good... Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry I forgot this. Um, but at least I'm, I remember now. Um, so, oh gosh. Uh, let's turn this off. Um, he has a really good post, uh, what's it called? Burst shield game? So, so, right? So that's actually really punchable, right? Um, and so this is pretty blessed. Like, I don't, right? You have a lot of options after Liz. This is my favorite. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so it's actually pretty easy. So like if you want to use like you want a character that can get good mileage out of uh, Defensive uh, Burr defensive sh burst shield. I don't I really don't remember what it was called 
but he does take advantage of it. That's that's why I think he's like really strong in this game. He doesn't have to really worry about the gauge. Oh, also, I, just, I guess I should mention this too. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the other videos, but he doesn't care. Can I set it to do... Uh... Oh, I can't. That's annoying. Uh, that's super annoying. Uh, hold on. <laughs> It's fine. I'll just take it. Um, he doesn't have to really worry too much about uh, the like the opponent doing defensive shield. I'll, I'll show you the one scenario that I think does have a problem with it, like where he can get kind of uh, messed up by it. Hopefully, it's in here. What's it under? I have never bothered to look for it. Aha! Uh, there, the flex shield is what it's called. <laughs> I, sh I should have. I should have known. All right. So here we go. Right, he's gonna wake up. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, so let's say you throw him, um, right? Like the overhead doesn't have to worry about the follow up; it just it automatically does it. Uh, if you do L cut, oh, he has no gauge. Is there a way to do infinite burst? I've never bothered to check this. Burst. Yeah, forget that. Um, that will whiff, right? So what you need to do as a player is make sure that you are ready to do that on reaction. Um. Even if you don't cancel it, it okay, so I want to mention this too. Uh, if you actually do a meaty L cut, uh, you can actually, it's completely safe if you do it meaty enough. And so, right? Uh, but this is why I like, I like to say that you should, you kind of need to use all of his moves when you do Oki. So, let's say I throw him. Uh, this is where Twitch is also really good as a low, because you have, you still have that as a follow up, right? You can do 2 HB driver if you still want the low. Um, so like, so like, let's say you want to run your mix, you do that, and you're covered, right? Uh, you want to run a low game, you do that, and then you beat drive, right? You're still, you're still covered, right? Uh, if you do L cut, of course, make sure you're ready to do something about it. Uh, I don't know if I can have him do the parry into an attack, but if you do, um, I was going to show this when I figured this out, but if you do something like this, uh, like... That Elkhun is actually like super safe. It's like minus like two or three, if not like minus one or something. And so even if they try to press buttons afterwards, they're not gonna be able to punish it. And anything, it sets you up to for like a, a really big success because now they're, they're prone to getting hit by a DP or something. Uh. But yeah, <laughs> that's like that's what, those are the gauges. Um. So the biggest thing I just want you guys to take from this is that you kind of need to use all the gauges, right? Just kind of use them all. I would say the burst gauge is probably the most expensive and your biggest last resort. Uh, but at the same time, I've been trying to, like, just that's how I feel now. But I've been trying to use it more, like, just be more aggressive about it. Because, like, a lot of players will just burst in immediately. They don't want to deal with him, right, once he gets in. So they will just burst in immediately. And so, like, I find that if I try to use burst, like, right away, it's, like, it's kind of ineffective. Uh, but yeah, that should be the gauges, I think. If there's anything else you guys want me to talk about, because I think, realistically, the only video I want to do is, like, Oki, and even then, I don't think it's going to be that hard. It's just a matter of making sure I cover, like, the, the range, like, the, all, all the positions possible. Like, I kind of want to make it a little bit more, th more thorough, but, I mean, realistically, like, realistically, like, this is all it is. It's just hard slash into all kind, and so, maybe I don't really need to do Oki. Uh, we'll see. Oh, I didn't. I guess I haven't covered save jumps, so I guess Oki will happen because I gotta do save jumps. All right, that's it for the the um, gauges. Uh, I, I I think I hope this video was useful. I feel like I did. I covered more things than I, I thought I would. So yeah. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, cool. I was making sure my notes are all good. All right. So, yeah, that's going to be the gauges. That should be... Uh... Oh, I guess I didn't cover this one, too. So, uh, right. This is, also, this, this is also in the video. This is throwable, by the way. If they if you do 6K, it is throwable. But I like it. Like, there's so many options here um, that you can kind of shut them out from trying to throw. But I think a lot of people will go for a fuzzy throw. So, I think going for 2H is a little bit better at the higher end of the gameplay. Um, but maybe at earlier games, going for a 6K is really, really strong because of the momentum, right? Right? Because you're, you're, it carries you so far forward, and then you're, like, right on top of them. And you're plus 3. 
So that's that's super, 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 super strong. But just know that you're kind of gambling and that you're risking yourself getting thrown or hit by a reversal at that point. All right, that's everything. That is everything on my on my notes. Uh, I, I uh, yeah, I hope that helps you guys out. Please take care of yourselves, guys. You have a great day. Um, tentatively, I am thinking about just doing Oki, and at that point, I'll do Oki combos, and then um, I don't. I'm still working on. I'm still deciding if I want to do matchups. I know a, a few of you guys were like, "Hey, do matchups." It's still too early. But, I mean, given that Kizzy kind of did a tier list, like, I kind of felt he's pretty, it's kind of right. Um, like, the characters that did beat him kind of still beat him. But he, he now he's pretty, pretty good. So I probably could do a matchup chart and have it. I could probably feel pretty comfortable in it. Uh, but, all right. Everyone take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.